Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve P2.73 from Hemblis book. So the question is use mass current analysis to find the values of I1 and I2 in this figure. First, select IA clockwise around the left hand mass. Okay, maybe let's follow that instruction here. So we will have IA on the left hand mass. So I will have IA here. Okay, then what's next? NIB clockwise around the right hand mass. So this is clockwise on the right hand mass and that will be IB. Okay, after solving for the mass currents IA and IB, determine the values of I1 and I2. Okay, let's do KVL at both IA and IB and find out the value of IA and Okay, the first thing that we need to do is KVL at loop IA. KVL at loop IA. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start by looking at this 2 ohm resistor. But it is a resistance. To get a voltage, we need to multiply it by a current. So... The only current that pass through it is IA. So I will have IA here. So 2IA. And then the next component is this 10 volt voltage source. It's already in voltage. So we don't need to multiply it by anything. However, we need to pay attention to the sign here. Here because the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal, the sign will be negative. So I will have minus 10 here and then let's move on to other components which is 12 ohm here so i will have 12 but this 12 is a resistance so we need to multiply it by the current the current that pass through it is ia here however this ib is flowing to the opposite direction so i'll have minus ib Okay, we have all three, the three components. This is from the 2 ohm resistor. This is from the 10 volt voltage source. And this is, is from 12 ohm resistor. All of that will equal to 0. Okay. And so I will have 2 plus 12. That will be 14 IA. Then minus 12 IB. And then minus 10 will equal to 0. And I think I will have 14 IA minus 12 IB is equal to 10. But I think we can still divide both sides by 2. So I will have 7 IA minus 6 IB that will equal to 4. Okay, let's save this as equation number 1. But we still need to play the same game, but at loop IB. Okay, now let's do KVL at loop IB. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from where? Maybe this 12 ohm resistor. Okay, but now we are working at IB, so everything is in the perspective of IB. So IB came first, and then here IA is flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have minus IA, and then plus, we will have 5 ohm here, and the only current that pass through it is IB, so I will have IB here. And then 1 ohm, also the only current that pass through it is IB. 1 multiplied by IB is just IB, so I just brought IB. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, let's distribute this 12. So I will have minus 12 IA. But then I will have plus 12. But plus 5 and plus 6. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 1 is 18. So I will have 18 IB. Okay. 
all of that will equal to zero and we can divide both sides by six i think or maybe minus six so i will have two i a and then minus three i b and all of that will equal to zero okay let's save this as equation number two Okay, we have two equation and two variables. Okay, I think we can do substitution, elimination, or any linear algebra technique. Uh, no solution, solving. Okay, solving one and two. But I think the fastest way is just use calculator. Okay, so I one and two. Let's take out our calculator and let's set up our calculator as equation solver, which is number five. Two variables is number one, and I will have seven, then minus six, and then five, and then two then minus 3, and then 0. Okay, we will have I1 is 1.667. 1 1.667. 1 ampere. Then what is I2? I2 is 1.1 1 .1 ampere. 1.11. 1 .1 ampere. But then we are asked about I1 and I2. Okay, I1. I1 is the same as IA. So I will have I. Oh, this is not I1 and I2. This is IA and IB. IA and IB. Okay. So I1 is equal to IA. Therefore, I1 is equal to 1.667 ampere. Okay, let's highlight that value. So this is I1. But then we need to find out I2. What is I2? I2 is IA is the same direction as I2. So I will have IA as the positive one. But IB is flowing to the opposite direction as I2, so I will have it as negative. So IA minus IB, and that will be 1.667 minus 1.11. Okay, that will be 1. 1. 1.667 minus 1.11. One. Not rational, but decimal. I will have 0 0.665. 0 0.665. 556. So 556 up there. And that is the value of. You can rewrite it on milliampere, but I just want to leave it as is. And that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.